Late this afternoon, firefighters were called back to the scene of that fire at a warehouse in Etna. Yesterday, dozens of expensive cars, motorcycles, and an RV went up in flames. The building was also home to several businesses. One man kept several animals inside. Brenda Waters spoke with people who stored their items in that building. Brenda joins us live now with the latest. Brenda? Hi, Stacey. You're right. Uh, firefighters were called back here. The fire chief pulled out uh, just a few minutes ago, but there's still a fire truck up the streets on standby at the corner. The fire marshal is still sitting over there. Now, I spoke with the chief as they were pulling out. He said that the fire did rekindle. There was some smoke inside the building, and what they did was put foam down over that fire, so hopefully they will not be called back here later today. But today's scene is nothing like yesterday. Yeah, it was scary. It was the biggest fire I've ever seen. Indeed, black smoke could be seen for miles as firefighters battled the flames for hours at Store Express on Butler Street in Etna, a facility larger than a football field. When we left, the street was covered engulfed in black smoke. My lungs and my throat are even sore today. Nicole Farine owns the hair salon right across the street from the storage facility. She and the clients in the shop had a front row seat until they were evacuated. I was actually in the middle of a haircut whenever we uh, were evacuated. Fire officials say the blaze is still under investigation, but know that millions of dollars were lost inside where at least 200 expensive cars were stored. Cindy Gabsky says she's lucky by two weeks. My son just a couple of weeks ago just took his truck out of here and stored it up the house. The fire reportedly started inside a 20 by 30 foot garage bay on the first floor of the building as a man was working on a motorcycle and it caught fire. Officials also report there were issues with the sprinkler system. I spoke with the president of the storage facility via phone about that problem. We certainly know that there was a sprinkler system there and why or for what reason it did not activate. I don't know and I'm looking forward to figuring out what happened there. but. Um, certainly there was one that was installed. Investigators say most of the vehicles were stored on the second floor of the facility. On the first floor, we rented out uh, workspaces that were utilized uh, by different uh, people and businesses. They were really just large storage spaces, but for different types of activities. As of right now, of course, no one is allowed back inside the storage facility. So the full extent of the damage nor the costs not known just yet. Reporting live in Aetna, Brenda Waters, KDKA News.